Hi, welcome back to our channel. My name is Jolie, and um, today is October 11th, and I um, wanted to come back and say thank you guys for all the well wishes, and just really grateful to be okay, and um, we're going to be um, taking um, a boat ride over to um, Sanibel to check out um, a few of our friends' places, so to see what we can do. So uh, I'll let you know how that goes. We're getting the bicycles ready because there's like where you have to, um, can, there's only like one, one or two places you can drop the boat off. So we're gonna be bringing the boat up. We're gonna have to wear the boots and then it's like two and a half miles to the main road. And then um, just to see, I'm kind of, uh, anxious about it, I think. Excited, anxious, um, sad. I don't know how it's going to affect me. So, um, but I'm thinking about others so that that'll help and I'll be able to help other people. And um, I'll be honest about what I can do. I'll listen to my body and my higher power and just take it um, like a turtle, not a rabbit. Yeah. Yeah, the anxiety, intrusive negative thoughts. I told you I was going to talk about anxiety next time. I have my notes here. So um, just because I've been thinking about that, like, um, so it's like thoughts stopping identity, you know, like the thought of like asking the questions when like, anxious thoughts come up, I'll go, is it true? Is it true? Is this thought helpful? And then if it's not, then work on thought replacement, um, being mindful with like some positive thoughts, like gratitude lists. That's what gratitude lists are for. Um, in there's like two to three, like there's many reasons to have a gratitude list. Number one is to make one. So you do the action, like of love for yourself so that you can change your perception of everything and everyone so that you can have a better lens to see the world in a, in a way that has hope. And um, if you have any depression and then also um, to have the list to know that you have the list if you need to actually go read the list when you're having these anxious thoughts. And I'm speaking to myself because I, I need to remind myself to do these things. So first and foremost, think about your self because you are the one who is living within this world of your perceptions and how that's going to be filtered it's going to, the only thing that can control that is you. And if you're allowing the outside world control you, then, you know, like that's an issue of boundaries. That's an issue of like, like, so like one bit by bit, by working on your self and your spiritual program and taking responsibility for your part in relationships and your actions and your words by slowing down, understanding what your triggers are, and what, like just, and every day is a new day. It's like Groundhog Day. Every day you get the same stuff it can happen again and then you can do over, like especially with family members. You'll have another opportunity to do over until you don't, right? So that's why, like, you know, pause, sip the lip if you're not going to say anything nice. Some distractions outside. And, um, you know, safe place sensing um, and replacing negative thoughts with peaceful ones. So that's, that's really important to do. So anyway, and what else <laughs> before you guys fall asleep? As facts change, 
I change. I can change because facts change, right? There's a DHL driver person looking for a delivery. I don't think I have anything to look. Okay. All right. So vision isn't always being right. Yeah. Black and white thinking keeps me stuck. And don't trust, feel, talk. Um, of, like, don't trust the feeling of wanting to stuff your feelings. There has to be a way to express them, whether that's with someone you can trust, uh, not necessarily want to tell the person that you're angry at. Maybe you want to write it in a letter and keep it for yourself. You know, so you have time to like see if you still feel that way tomorrow or in a week or in a year, you know. And um, like painting or writing helps, like some type of creativity uh, helps to release those feelings in a productive way. And um, just promising that you'll show up for yourself today. You know, I will show up for myself today. And what does that look like? So um, for instance, people scroll, right? I scroll on my Instagram and different social medias and my emails. And what am I gonna do for myself today? I'm gonna do it in a limited time. And when I catch myself doing it, I'm gonna say, okay, put it down or go on your bike. Like either take a ride outside or if you have one indoors, like I do, like then you can sit down on your bike and that's where you'll scroll and set the timer for 30 minutes. So this way you know that you're at least getting some type of movement while you're doing that. So productive, that's what I do. I try to do, I've been, I've been doing because I've been noticing how sedentary I've been sitting around. You know, sitting, driving to work. Well, not that anymore. Um, that hour long drive is no more uh, because of the bridge closure. And yeah, I was thinking about that. I'm like, I'm moving, so it's gonna be okay. And um, I've already put out some feelers for some jobs, you know, getting my resume ready. So doing the work and letting go and letting God, you know, like see what is gonna be out there for me. All right, so these are things that I do and I wanna hear what you guys do. What do you do if you're anxious, if you have anxiety? You know, um, things that can help other people in this group. Okay, so I'm gonna read Each Day a New Beginning. Today is October 11th. Trucking along here. People are sending uh, photos of, of up north with the trees changing. It's pretty hot still here. You know, it's steamy, like 91 degrees. Oof. And um, the leaves on the trees here are fall looking because they blew off from this, the hurricane. Hurricane. So be still and listen to the stillness within. And that's a quote from Darlene Larson Jenks. Be still and listen to the stillness within. Take a nice deep breath in and out. That's basically the beginning and a simple version of meditation. Just to start with one moment. No answer eludes us if we turn to the source of all answers, the stillness within. Prayer accompanied by meditation will always provide the answers we need for the situations facing us. So. The answers we want are not guaranteed, however. We must trust that we will be directed to the right steps. Our well being is assured if we let go of being the one in control and turn our wills over to the care of our higher power, the God of our understanding, our messenger within. How comforting to know 
that all my answers are close as our quiet moments. God, your higher power, the universe, never chooses to keep the answers from us. We simply fail to quiet our thoughts long enough to heed them. Our minds race obsessively with anxiety and untruths all too often from fear. We jump from one scenario to another, one fear to another, one emotion to another. And each time our thoughts capture a new focus, we push the answer we seek further into the background. It's like squashing our feelings by avoiding, right? How do you avoid, right? So the process is simple. If I want to follow it, the willingness. Do I have a willingness? Do you? The answer awaits me if I truly want the answers. Hmm, good question. Do I really want to change? I need only sit quietly and ask God to offer the guidance I need. A word, just a simple word could come in. And then I will sit quietly somewhere. So in my experience, that's beautiful. In my experience lately, um, as I've been talking about like how I've been meditating at night, it's before I go to bed, I'll turn off all the lights. I'll lay on the floor. First I'll pray. I'll do a squat and pray so that I can kind of stretch out my back a bit. And then I'll lay down on my back, which is awesome because it just cracks it. So you ever like lay on, the back, on your back and just roll down and goes like, oh my God, it's the best. You can use like a tennis ball too or any type of thing. And just the experience is just settles you in to the earth knees up or anything just so that you can start to relax and breathe and just be in your body and you can even do that while i'm talking to you just lay down on the floor just breathe close your eyes and just see where you are within the closed eyes like what what colors do you see what lights what shapes come about so that sets you into present moment and then throughout that, like bring in some movement, maybe like some type of sit-ups or move, leg movements, rocking side to side, stretching your arms up overhead, you know, right, left, you know, just like be there. Be there until you're not anxious, until your thoughts settle in. You know, take note of your behavior. How do you feel like, oh, are you, what's, what are you telling yourself? Like, this is, this feels good. This feels nice. You know, just work on those positive things. You know, what, I'm doing this for my body. I'm doing this for me. I finished the day. The day, I did it. Nor if you want to start the day this way, I start the day. For me, it's can't do that. <laughs> it takes me a long time to actually get myself up unless I have somewhere, someone to be with. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's, uh, and then, you know, at the end of that, you can just listen to say, okay, God, universe, I open my, my heart to you and just wait. Like lately I've been, I've been listening, it's like certain words will come into me. Like um, yesterday was, the day before yesterday it was live. live. I mean, I could see the word live or live. And then um, the day before that was serve. And yesterday, it was B. So I'm like, okay. I like the simplicity of that. It wasn't like this big, you know, write it down. Oh my God, what's, you know, coming on? It's just something simple. 
So that's it. Let's say the serenity prayer. And um, I love you guys. And I look forward to hearing your comments. I've been putting funny little videos up. Um, also, I have little shorts of my cat drinking water, my washer that moves like, like a storm when I'm washing. And then there's this one where, um, well, I'm, I'm just experimenting with that because I've been painting like crazy during the whole entire storm. So I'll talk about that and um, show you some of those paintings. Okay, I love you. Let's go ahead and just settle in. Deep breath again. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things we can't change, the courage to change the things we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Okay, rock on. I love you, and I'll see you soon. Okay, I'm thinking about doing some tarot soon because I've been pulling cards every day. And um, so onward, more content. Love you guys.